I am Darren Karp, and joining me now is actress, YouTube personality, and accidental activist. We have Francesca Ramsey in the house. How you doing, Francesca? Good to see Hi. you. Hi. Good. Thanks for having me. So you've been on the internet for years, informing and educating people on a number of things, and thank God for that. Has this always been a passion of yours? I mean, where did this sort of get started? You know, it's funny, I titled my book uh, Memoirs and Mistakes of an Accidental Activist because this was truly by accident. Um, I went to school for acting um, and then I transferred to study graphic design and I was working in fashion and making YouTube videos on the side just because um, I was super interested in being in entertainment, but I had no access, no connections. Um, and I was doing stand up, but I like to go to bed on time. So I <laughs> instead was just like, let me do this YouTube thing. And I was trying all different sorts of things. I was doing hairstyle tutorials, I was doing crafting, I was doing cooking, I was doing parodies and sketches. Um, and then I had a viral video in 2012, Stuff White Girls Say to Black Girls. It went viral, I got an agent, and I realized, oh, talking about race and identity through comedy is kind of my forte and I don't see anyone else doing it. So I really kind of just pursued it and the rest is history. Well, that's what you sort of love about you. You sort of make this really complicated and maybe awkward and uncomfortable topic sort of palatable just through humor alone. I hope I don't say anything bad to you that's gonna go viral. So <laughs> I hope not to, but we'll, you know what, let's do it together. We, can we got this, yeah, it. you're gonna walk me through this. So there you're gonna walk me through this. Now, we got to talk about Decoded and the new season. Now, while the show has always been about breaking down, you know, racial and cultural issues that affect people of color, this season is specifically focusing on police and police brutality. How do you think Decoded will sort of help and inform those who are still protesting the injustices still committed in this country? You know, I think for a lot of people, um, this current situation going on in our world has really exposed that we in many ways live in two very different Americas. For Black people, for people of color, their experience with the police and just moving through the world in their everyday lives is very different from white Americans. And so when we talk about police violence, sometimes it can be hard for people, again, not just white people, but people of all backgrounds, to actually understand that it's not just about one specific incident, it's about an entire culture. Um, we're talking about a systemic issue. And so something that Decoded has always done and I think we're really good at is zooming out and doing big picture so while we do things talk about things that are going on in the world we we try to take an evergreen approach so that people don't get bogged down in one specific incident they can actually understand um, that we're talking about an ongoing issue that needs a, a broader approach to actually combat the challenges that we're talking about that's smart so you can come back in a week or in a year from now and it's still relevant, hopefully better, uh, but relevant just the same. So hopefully Yeah, and hopefully give people a talking point and, and a starting point to address these issues because we often find that people, you know, when you're talking about life and death issues, it can be really difficult to um, not get upset, not get overwhelmed, and that's totally reasonable. And so sometimes when people are talking to their friends and family about these issues, they struggle to actually articulate themselves. And so Decoded, in many ways, is kind of like, here's some some things that you might have heard about this issue. Let's break it down and maybe you can share the episode um, at, to start a conversation with someone or you can actually use the references in the episode to talk about it with the people in your community. Do you think it really is about people maybe being ignorant or not really knowing about these topics or do you find that these topics that you're really covering are so contentious that people just automatically go to anger and defensiveness and then no one's able to communicate with each other. I mean, where do you really break it down to? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, you know, the way that we talk about race in this country has been so watered down. People are like, MLK had a dream. The dream was realized. We had a black president. Woo! Racism is <laughs> over. And it's like, <laughs> that's what I, that's what I saw it as. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so um, the way we talk about it is very watered down. And even our education system really does a disservice to, again, communities of all backgrounds to actually understand the issue. Um, and I think a lot of people think of talking about 
race and racism as taboo. Lots of people often say, oh, I don't see color, as if that is a solution to the problems that come with living as a person of color in this country. So I think it's one, not actually understanding the issue. And then I think there's also just a lot of guilt there. Um, it really makes people uncomfortable to think that they have done something bad or racist or upheld an oppressive system without their knowledge. And so it's oftentimes easier to just say, blah, 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 I don't wanna listen, I don't wanna talk about that, rather than actually acknowledge, well, we can't fix a problem if we don't admit the problem exists and admit that we may have unintentionally played a part in perpetuating the problem. Whether you meant to or not, um, that's not always the issue. It's acknowledging that a problem is there so that we can create solutions together. Yeah, that's, that's very well said. And you know, in the latest episode of Decoded, you broke down Hollywood myths about police with people being so taken by these representations of police in the media. Do you think we can come back from that, I wonder? You know, I didn't do this show if I didn't believe that there was a future in which everybody, no matter what background they are, can live their life to the fullest and be um, the best human that they can possibly be. But again, I do think it requires us being honest about the world that we live in and the ways in which our media and our politicians um, and our everyday lives contribute to the situation that we're in. So. I am going to say that I believe that the conversations we're having right now are going to move us in the right direction, but I still do think we have a long way to go.